Hey church, great to be with you today, uh, wherever it is you are, whatever it is you're doing. Um, hopefully we can take five minutes out and just uh, find some truth, find some encouragement in God's word. Um, so grab yourselves a brew, get yourself settled, get your Bibles open. We're going to be reading from Psalm 139. Um, while you're doing that, my name is Lewis, uh, part of the Manchester campus here at Audacious. I also run the production team. Uh, so all things sound, lighting, video, cameras, um, working with a team of volunteers who are so incredibly servant-hearted and their their character is incredible their willingness to to make things excellent so if you give them if you see them on sunday make sure you give them some love make sure you give them some encouragement um so i was asked to share something that was meaningful to me uh from the bible and i immediately thought of psalm 139 you know as a kid it made me feel safe it made me feel secure um and i've never really studied it i've never thought about it i just knew that it would it it made me made me believe that that god was for me and god was with me all the time um so as i got to prepare this as i got to break it down a little bit it really kind of it really encouraged me even more so um hopefully it does the same for you too uh, so yeah, read along with me. If you haven't got a Bible with you, maybe just close your eyes. Just let the word of God sink in while I read through it. So Psalm 139 from the New Living Translation. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You'll place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to the heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw before I was born, every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. O God, if only you would destroy the wicked. Get out of my life, you murderers. They blaspheme you. Your enemies misuse your name. O Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? Yes, I hate them with total hatred, for your enemies are my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Such an incredible journey from uh, the psalmist here talking about the omniscience, the omnipresence of God to to being being surrounded by enemies, to then being asking God to test, test our hearts and search our hearts. And this psalm for me represents the 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 psalmist in it, in kind of in his in entirety, really, his. As you read through the Psalms, you'll find that it ebbs and flows. You'll find that in some points, the Psalmist David, King David is, uh, is praising God, you know, in the, you'll be reading two Samuel where he, he's praising in the streets and he starts, you know, starts stripping off his clothes. And he said, and his, his wife, Michael's is ashamed of him. And he says, I don't care. I'll become even more undignified than this. And you can see his total and utter praise for God. But then you'll read in Psalm 13 where he says, (coughs) where he feels abandoned by God and asking how long will you hide your face from me and for me this psalm kind of culminates that journey of David realizing that no matter what situation he's in that God God is with him so I'm just going to take out a couple of snippets and just kind of explore what they mean to me and he re, he you know he writes you go before me and follow me you know whatever you're about to face whatever you have faced God is and was with you you know that you've whatever whatever you're about to walk into today god knows and god's gone before you and sometimes we look behind us to see to see how far we've come or we look behind us to to ha- you know uh, to uh look look at the past and god's there god's saying hey look you're you know he's encouraging us he's with us whatever whatever you're facing god's with you he says 
I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. And that speaks to me of those times when we, we try to escape from God. We try to run away. We try to, I don't know, we just try to hide our shame from God. But guess what? You can't. You, this psalm tells us that God knows our every thought. God knows our every heart. That thing that you never told anyone that when you put your head on your pill on the pillow at night and those you know those thoughts that run around your head, God knows those thoughts. And even in those times, He's with you. When our faith is weak, when we want nothing to do with Him, He's still there, being like, "Hey, I got you. I got this." He, the psalmist continues. He says, "If I go up to the heavens, you are there. In the best times, you know you're." You're riding high on life. You got that promotion. You landed that house. You got that girl. Whatever it is, whatever your measure is, God is with you there. But, you know, in our worst times, he says, if I go down to the grave, you are there. If In the worst times when you feel like you've hit rock, rock, rock bottom and you, you can't go with it any further, God is present there with you and he, he he's there and he wants to be with you. You know, he writes, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. What this says to me is that it speaks of purpose. You know, knitting isn't a, it's not a passive thing. You don't have, you know, you, know, you don't get wool in your knitting sticks and, sorry if you're a knitter, your knitting sticks and you don't just look at it and go, okay, I'm going to make a scarf or I'm going to make a hat. You actually have to put time and energy and craft into into that thing that you're making. And that's how God sees us. He He knit us together. He, you know, he made you creatively. He made you intentionally. He made you purposefully and to me, that's so encouraging because you wake up knowing that you were made for a purpose for this day, that that God has gone before you, that God is that God is with you this whole time. And the psalm encourages me that it doesn't matter what your measure of success is, how successful, unsuccessful you are or how good or bad you feel that God will always be with you uh, on your worst days. He's not going to abandon you. He he created you. He he thought about you before before you were born, before you know, before you were even in your mother's room, God thought about you. And that for me is just incredible. And imagine waking up every day with the confidence knowing that God has gone before you. What would your life look like if you woke up and believed every day that you were made for a purpose this day, that you were created for this day, that God, every part of you that God designed, how incredible would our lives look if we actually believe that every single day of our lives? And the the last thing is is David is saying, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. He's, it's an invitation for, for God to come in and actually challenge us on things, challenge us on um, maybe in your unbelief, maybe in your uh, in your attitude. Maybe there's certain things in your life that, that God wants you to work on. And it's not a, you know, this isn't a like a fluffy psalm where, hey, everything's going to be OK. It is because God is with us all the time and we know that. But it's also saying, hey, God, you made me. But there's stuff that I've put in my life, the stuff that I've put in that actually is not of you. You know, when when you knitted us together, that we were pure. But then when we were born, we were born into sin. And when, you know, we've added stuff into our lives that is actually not of God. And that's what David's talking about here, where he says, know my anxious thoughts, know the stuff that I've added in, know the added extras that I've put in that sometimes aren't of you. And hopefully church that that's encouraged you a little bit today, that knowing that God is with you, God is for you. God is, doesn't matter where you are in life. God is with you. And sometimes we might have to invite God in just to challenge those things that we think about, challenge those things that you might not even know, but just know that God is always for you and I'm just going to pray for us real quick and uh, thank you for for um, for allowing me to share with you the privilege of sharing with you and hopefully that's encouraged you father I thank you for for the words of David for this psalm that it encourages us that you are always with us that you will go before us you go behind us that you that you created us for a purpose that all our days were marked out for us before before we even took step into this earth before we even were thought about lord that you you were there with us and i pray today god that whatever it is we go to face that you would be with us that you uh you you would go before us you would go behind us and you would help us recognize that you have gone before us and you would give us that confidence to to face the day knowing that um 
knowing that you've gone before us and you've laid this day out for us. And God, I pray today, if there's anything in, in our lives that is not of you, that you would test our thoughts, you would search our anxious thoughts, Father, and you would help us to overcome those by, by prayer and petition, Father, by um, by prayer and by, uh, yeah, that you would just allow us to work through those things that will bring us closer to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, church. Have a great day. It's been a privilege to share with you. Big love.